Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. O come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. O come, let us worship and praise. A reading from Leviticus. <clears throat> God spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai, Speak to the people of Israel. Tell them when you enter the land which I am going to give you, the land will observe a Sabbath to God. Sow your fruit fields, prune your vineyards, and take in your harvests for six years. But the seventh year the land will take a Sabbath of complete and total rest of Sabbath to God. You will not sow your fields or prune your vineyards. Don't reap what grows of itself. Don't harvest the grapes of your untended vines. The land gets a year of complete and total rest. But you can eat from what the land volunteers during the Sabbath year, you and your people, your men and women servants, your hired hands, and the foreigners who live in the country. And of course, also your livestock and the wild animals in the land can eat from it. Whatever the land volunteers of itself can be eaten. Count off seven Sabbaths of years, seven times seven years. Seven Sabbaths of years adds up to 49 years. Then sound loud blasts on the ram's horn on the tenth day of the seventh month, the Day of Atonement. Sound the ram's horn all over the land. Sanctify the fiftieth year. Make it a holy year. Proclaim freedom all over the land to everyone who lives in it. A jubilee for you. Each person will go back to their family's property and reunite with their extended family. The 50th year is your jubilee year. Don't sow. Don't reap what volunteers itself in the fields. Don't harvest the untended vines because it's the jubilee and a holy year for you. You are permitted to eat from whatever volunteers itself in the fields. In this year of Jubilee, everyone returns home to their family property. If you sell or buy property from one of your countrymen, don't cheat them. Calculate the purchase price on the basis of the number of years since the Jubilee. They're obliged to set the sale price on the basis of the number of harvests remaining until the next Jubilee. The more years left, the more money you can raise the price. But the fewer years left, the less money. Decrease the price. What you are buying and selling, in fact, is the number of crops you're going to harvest. Don't cheat each other. Fear your God. I am God, your God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 66. Bless our God, you peoples. Let the sound of praise be heard. Our God has kept us among the living and has not allowed our feet to slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows. Those that I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth while I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of rams. 
I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who believe, and I will tell you what the Lord has done for me. I called out to God with my mouth and praised the Lord with my tongue. If I had cherished evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and has attended to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld unfailing love from me. A reading from James. My friends, consider yourselves fortunate when all kinds of trials come your way, for you know that when your faith succeeds in facing such trials, the result is the ability to endure. Make sure that your endurance carries you all the way without failing, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. But if any of you lack wisdom, you should pray to God, who will give it to you, because God gives generously and graciously to all. But when you pray, you must believe and not doubt. Whoever doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and blown about by the wind. If you are like that, unable to make up your mind and undecided in all you do, you must not think that you will receive anything from the Lord. Do not be deceived, dear friends. Every good gift and every perfect present comes from heaven. It comes down from God, the creator of the heavenly lights, who does not change or cause darkness by turning. By God's own will, God brought us into being through the word of truth, so that we should have first place among all God's creatures. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. You have been born anew through the living and abiding Word of God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us to show mercy to our forebearers, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our lives. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Jesus answered him, Friend who gave me the right to judge or to divide the property between you two. And he went on to say to them all, Watch out and guard yourselves from every kind of greed because your true life is not made up of the things you own, no matter how rich you may be. Then Jesus told them this parable. There was once a rich man who had land which bore good crops. The man began to think to himself, I don't have a place to keep all my crops. What can I do? This is what I will do, he told himself. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones where I will store the grain and all my other goods. Then I will say to myself, Lucky man, you have all the good things you need for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and enjoy yourself. But God said to the man, You fool, this very night you will have to give up your life. Then who will get all these things you have kept for yourself? And Jesus concluded, This is how it is with those who pile up riches for themselves, but are not rich in God's sight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. <clears throat> the prayer.
prayers of the people are next. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask healing for those who are ill, especially those who are ill with COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Receive the blessing. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The holy and blessed Trinity, one God, bless and preserve us. Amen. Almighty God, bless us and direct our days and our deeds in God's peace. Amen. Peace be with you.